You put your hands up and don't touch me. I wasn't aiming to, miss. I... Do like I say, you murderer. I have it your way, but I'm not one of those gunmen. Yes, you are. You shot my driver. Is he dead? Yes. Well, lady, I'm a range detective. Yeah. Oh. I thought you were one of That's those... That's all right. I saw you were in trouble. What were they after? I don't know. I paid this man to drive me to the junction. And then all of a sudden we saw these men chasing us. Did you get a good look at either one of them? No. I guess I was too scared. Well, I'll drive you the rest of the way to the junction. No, thanks. I, I think I can handle the team. All right. There. Now, take it slow. I'll ride along beside you. Thanks, mister. Lane. Rocky Lane, ma'am. Giddy up. How about giving me a hand over here? Manage the smout laws back a piece. If you fellows will get him out of the wagon, I'll wire the sheriff for the next town. Be right back, miss. Before you send that off to the sheriff, I want you to take a telegram for me, too. All right. To the Rangeland Detective Agency, Santa Fe. Had a brush with mass riders attacking wagon near Junction Station. Don't know whether this has any connection with our case or not. Contact me at Skeeter Davis's. Contact me at Skeeter Davis's. Yeah, that sign that Rocky Lane. All right. Get that right off, will you? Thank you. Say, mister, I don't mean to be rude, but I overheard you say something about outlaws. That's right. They attacked a wagon up the road. Scared the daylights out of a young lady. A young lady, huh? She all right? Yeah, she's all right. My name's Van Stanley. I own a ranch near here. Rocky Lane. Glad to know you. You know, this isn't exactly cattle country. What brings a range detective here? Well, I'm here on a case. Kind of private. See ya. Shall I send his telegram? Certainly. And keep me informed if he sends any more. All right. Just closing in on the wagon when this fellow on a black horse comes barreling at us. Kill Joe. Listen, Paiute, I'm getting awful sick of you messing up every job I send you on. Maybe I'm getting a little tired of doing your dirty work. Don't forget who killed McCrary for you. All right, all right. But that was McCrary's daughter on the wagon, and she's got a piece of that map we need. Well, I wasn't taking any chances when that number started chasing us. He could have been the law. As a matter of fact, he is. He's a range detective. He's probably following the girl to Skeeter's ranch. Got to get that map together. You think that map will really show where Billy the Kid's loot is buried? Certainly it will. We were all there the night that Billy dropped it. McCrary tore it in five pieces and gave us each one. You sure didn't trust each other, did you? Listen, Paiute, that's an awful lot of money. And I don't intend to split it five ways. We're all going to meet at Skeeter's Ranch. But there's a man by the name of Randy Brown who's coming in on the afternoon stage. He's got a piece of that map. You get out there and get it and don't miss. All right, wait a minute. 
There may be another man on that stage this afternoon who has a piece of that map. His name is Gorman. Gorman, huh? Count Muse, Skeeter Davis, and a girl? That makes the five, huh? That's right. And I want to remind you of one thing. I don't keep people on my payroll that don't deliver the goods. Yeah, I'll try and remember that. Skeeter Davis of the Wonder Carnival? <laughs> Heard of me, eh? Well, most folks have. Yep, I'm Skeeter Davis, but come right in. Come right in. This here's Nancy McCurry. Yes, we've met before. I didn't catch your name. Rocky Lane. I'm the range detective you sent for. Detective? But I sent the I got here as quickly as I could. What's all this talk about? You know, my breakfast was kind of interrupted this morning. I could sure use some coffee. I guess I was responsible in a way, so let me make the coffee for you. Where's your kitchen, Skeeter? Right through there. You'll find all the makings right by the stove. Guess you got into the wrong place, mister. Yes, I, I know. I'm a deputy marshal from the county seat. You are, eh? Well, why didn't you tell me? Kind of figured it'd be better for our case if folks didn't know the law was around here. So let's keep it to ourselves, huh? Yeah, that's right. Sit down. She must be the girl you wrote us about. The piece of that map. Yeah. She got it from her father right after he was killed. That's why I sent for you fellas. You know, they might even be thinking of killing me. And what about the other three you mentioned? They here yet? Brown's coming in on the next stage. Ain't heard from Gorman. Stanley's here. He was on the ranch right next to me. Stanley, huh? Ran into a man at the junction by that name. Nice fella. Ain't worrying about him. Who are you worrying about? Well, I don't know. But after Nancy's father was killed, I figured one of them was out to grab the loot for himself. I'm sure we can count the girl out. And if this Stanley's such a nice fella, that leaves the other two, and you. Me? But I'm the one who notified you. Just considering all possibilities. I'm sure we can count you out. Yeah, I should think so. Do you think the McCreary killing had something to do with this map? You're darn tootin' I do. He was an honest feller. Wrote to all of us right after Billy the Kid was killed and said we should put our map together and try to find that loot. And right on top of it, Says we ain't gonna keep it when we do find it. <laughs> Wants to return it to the rightful owners. That's why I figured he was killed. Somebody didn't like the idea of returning that money. How about you? Well, I sort of figured it this way. Maybe them folks is dead and it uh, is buried treasure, just like Captain Kidd's. <laughs> so it was just a case of uh, finders keepers. The money doesn't belong to you. Maybe the rightful owners are still alive, or their relatives. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe you are. Well, there goes that beautiful new carnival I've been dreaming about. Maybe not. I understand there's a lot of reward money offered. Yeah? You still think I might get the brass ring? I don't see why not. Yeah, yeah, that's right, uh, Rocky. Uh, well, I'm mighty glad your detective agency sent you out here. Thank you. You sure left the junction in a hurry, didn't you? I, I wanted to get over and see Skeeter. Do you think her being held up has something to do with Probably that? Probably just outlaws, figuring she was carrying something valuable. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. What time does that stage get in? <clears throat> Where's sure now? I think I'll ride out and meet him. Yeah, I reckon you better. Well, thanks for the coffee. Real good. Just wing me. Thanks, I saw what you done. They got the other passenger. What was his name? I think he said it was Brown. Gorman, by any chance? No, why do you ask? Just curious. What is your name? Paul Howard. Just who are you? A range detective. Name's Lane. I see. Think you can manage this team as far as the junction? I think so. Then get to it. Brown's body into the next town. Where are you heading? I think that's my business. Fair enough. Right now I could use a drink. Care to join me? Well, sir, I... Be right with you. Did you get a look at those men chasing you? Not too good. The stage was going pretty fast. The room was about the same size as that fellow over there. He's got a wet horse outside. Let's have a talk with him. Sir. 
Seen any strangers come in here in the last few minutes? No. That's your horse outside? Getting kind of nosy, ain't you? It's my business to be nosy. Man was just killed on the stage by masked riders. Lots of men get killed around here, mister. I don't like your tone. Well, ain't that too bad. <laughs> Looks like it shouldn't be too hard to pick him up. Guess there's not much doubt that he was one of them. Have you any idea what they were after? No, I don't. Say, I'll be needing a horse. Think I can find one around here? I'm sure you can. You ready now to tell me where you're headed? All right. I'm looking for a man named Skeeter Davis. Know where I can find him? He's got a ranch about a half mile from here. I was just heading out there myself. Wait till I get a horse, I'll ride along with you. Did you get it? Ah, running that range detective. Oh, that's fine. Can't you ever do anything right? Well, I couldn't help it. He keeps sticking his face in. Looks like you stuck yours out. Well, he's pretty handy with his fists. Maybe I should give you some lessons. Now, listen to this carefully. The five of us are meeting at Skeeter Davis this, this afternoon. That puts all five pieces of the map in one place. That's right. Get some of the boys and ride out to Skeeter's ranch. And when we're all inside, make your move. That I like. I got something to settle with that detective. Never mind him. Just get that map. And be sure and take my piece of map off of me. You think I'm stupid or something? I'll reserve my answer to that. Now, I got to get over there. Round up the boys. I was a barker and had one of the greatest spiels you ever heard. It went something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up and see the mystic mysteries, the mysterious marvels of Mesopotamia. I... Hello, Stanley. This is uh, McCurry's daughter, Nancy. Remember, I was telling you about her. How do you do? Hello. I'm awfully sorry to hear about your father. I was just telling Nancy about the time I was with the carnival. Hurry! Take hurry! It, take it easy, Skeeter. We've heard it a thousand times. What's more important, did Gorman say what time he'd get here? No, he didn't, but we don't have to worry about him. He's just as anxious to get... Maybe that's one of them now. There, I thought you were Brown or Gorman. Afraid Brown won't be here. Why? What happened? He was killed coming in on the stage. By outlaws. Lane ran them off just in time, or they might have gotten me, too. You must be Skeeter Davis. Yep, that's me. This is Van Stanley, this is Nancy McCreary, and this is a detective. He works for me. I'm Paul Harworth. Gorman mentioned Stanley and McCreary, but I thought McCreary was a man. My father was killed. I'm sorry. How come you know about Gorman? I won the piece of map from him in a poker game. Now, who in tarnation is that? Hello, Skeeter. You must be a, a ghost or something. Uh, 
You're supposed to be dead. Yes, I heard about it at the junction. But I guess they got the wrong brown. Oh, oh. Well, I'm so glad it wasn't you. They're all in there now. Come on, we'll move up closer to the house. So, after I heard about Nancy's father being shot, I decided to hire a man to ride in the stage for me, and I came in another way by horseback. I was afraid they might try the same thing with me. Yeah, me too. That's why I told the... Uh, that is, I mean, that's, uh, that's why I hired a detective to uh, protect me. Then you're really responsible for this other man being killed. Oh, I paid him well. Well, that money won't do him any good now. I suppose you told him what the situation was. Well, at least we have the five pieces of the map here. Sure, we can lay them out there and see where we go from here. No. Why not? How else will we find out where the loot is? I know, but I'm scared. Just before my father died, he told me not to trust anyone. The man who killed him may have been... You mean one of us? I don't know. But he killed my father. Then he tried to kill me and Mr. Brown. Well, I don't blame her for being scared. Maybe I can help you. How? Oh. Well, I'm a disinterested party. If you want to trust me, I'll look at the five pieces of the map for you. Why, sure, that's a good idea. After all, uh, Rocky's a detective. Yes, but I've heard of some crooked detectives in my life. You trying to say Rocky ain't honest? Oh, no offense. I, uh, I'm like Miss McCreary. I'm just not what you'd call a trusting soul. Well, I am. There's mine, Rocky. He's talking to me. That sounds like the fellow we had the scrap with at the junction. His name's Paywood. I'd recognize that skunk's voice anywhere. Skeeter Davis! Ask him what he wants. What do you want? That map you got. Send the girl out with all five pieces of it. He's the coyote that's after it. Keep talking to him. I'll try to slip around behind him. What map are you talking about? You know what map. Send it out here. I got the house covered. I'll give you one minute to do like I say. Maybe we ought to do it before we all get killed. Not me. Rocky will take care of that low life out there. All right, you asked for it. to get away. work, Lane. It certainly was. What did you do with him? Got him tied up in the barn. Skeeter's watching him. Aren't you going to turn him over to the law? As soon as I ask him a few questions. I don't know what good that'll do us. He's certainly not going to tell us where we're going. Well, there was the name of a town on uh, Skeeter's piece of map. What was it? Remargo. Well, that's not far from here. Well, Skeeter and I figure we can make it in a day and a half. We'll have to camp somewhere on the way. Now, he can take Miss Nancy, Hallworth, and Brown in the wagon with him. You and I can ride guard. All right. Where do we stay tonight? Right here. Your map will be a lot safer if you all stick together. That's right. Well, I've got to ride to the Junction Telegraph office. I'll be back in about a half an hour. Well, at least we have a starting point. I'm glad Mr. Lane is going with us. Yes, I'm beginning to change my mind about detectives. I have to run to the ranch and pick up some things. I'll be right back.
another thing you want, Lizard. I never liked you since I first set eyes on you. Why don't you shut up? Yeah, you won't be talking so big when Rocky gets here. We used to run into a lot of skunks like you when I was in Carnival. I remember one fella, sort of looked like you. And you messed things up again. I couldn't help it. I didn't know Lane was outside the house. You should have had some of your men surround the place, but forget that now. Try and do something right for a change. We're all leaving for Ray Margo in the morning. Well, Margo? Yeah, they figure on getting there the next day. What do I do? Follow us. We'll get in touch with some of our men at Ray Margo to help us out. All right. And another thing. Lane just went to the telegraph office. Get down there, see if he sent a message and what was in it. Now. Snuck up behind me. I I never even seen him. Take it easy, old timer. I'm all right. I've got to be. So we can leave in the morning. We're gonna get you to bed. Yeah. Where's your room? Yeah, it's uh, upstairs. All right. I'll go ahead. Stanley, you ride back a piece. Come on, boy. Just about sundown. Hope we camp soon. I'm getting hungry. Me too, Skeeter. here for the night. I'm glad to hear that. There's a stream of water right over there. I'm going to take a last look around, see if everything's all right. Somebody's riding back. Maybe it's the boss. Detective, let's get out of sight. Anything, Rocky? Yeah, I saw the tracks of two horsemen back there. We might have some company. Yeah, that skunk of a Paiute ain't the kind of company we want around here. We better keep our eyes open. Supper ready yet? Yeah, just about. Are we gonna have to stay around here watching them all night? Quit griping. Boss's orders. If whoever's trying to get that map is going to give us any trouble, tonight's the time they'll try it. So we'd better separate and stay awake. Brown, you take your blanket roll over there. Stanley, over in there. Alworth, you take that side. Skeeter, this side. I'll relieve each one of you during the night so you can get some rest. We better make us some more coffee so we won't go to sleep. All right.
Thank you. This must be awful rough on you, Miss Nancy. What made you decide to come, anyway? Billy the kid's money? Not exactly. It's my father being killed. I wanted to find out who did it. I thought it must have been one of the other four. Well, that makes sense, but it's a pretty dangerous mission for a girl. Especially since you're carrying that piece of map. That's like toting your own death warrant. My father meant a great deal to me. We were very close. What would anyone do if someone had murdered their father? I see what you mean. Do you have any idea who it could be? No, not yet. Just one of these four. They're all putting on a mighty good act. What about Mr. Brown? I don't know. I was just wondering about him. I'm gonna take him a cup of coffee and have a talk with him. Bought some coffee. Brown. We can count Brown out. All right, everybody, come over here. What's your trouble, Rocky? Brown's been murdered. Somebody could have slipped up on him, or it might have been one of us. His pockets were turned inside out, so it's pretty plain what they were after. Rocky, what are you doing? Looks like the boss is in trouble. Hand me that gun. Sorry, gentlemen. I'll have to search you. You can search the Christmas, but just remember, I'm the one that hired you. We'll start with you. It's all right with me. <laughs> back in our camp. Either you or your boss is going to hang for it. I didn't do it. Then it must have been your boss. Who is he? I don't know what you're talking about. You better start opening up. Who is he? All right, I'll tell you. Comes a rider. It's all right, it's lame.
What happened, Rocky? I had my hands on one of them, but he ran into a bullet from his partner. You mean you had Paiute? I never saw this man before. Whoever did the shooting got away. It could have been Paiute. Yeah, his luck better start running out of ours wheel. Well, whoever he was, he's probably the one who killed Brown. Maybe. Are you going on searching us? If one of you had that piece of map, you've had time to get rid of it. You mean to say you still believe it was one of us here? That's my business to be suspicious. We better get back to our positions. This time, stay within sight of the camp. so you can freshen up a bit. I certainly need it. Careful. We gotta find the corner. Take care of Brown. I have to go to the blacksmith shop. My horse has a loose shoe. All right. We'll all meet at Miss Nancy's room later. Right. Come on, boy. Nice job you did last night, Paiute. For once, you used your head. Well, I kind of thought you needed a little help. Too bad about Sam. Yeah, Lane was telling us about it. Something about Sam stepping in the way of his partner's bullet. But I figured he was lying. Yeah, Sam was a nice guy. Shot off his mouth a little too much, maybe, but he was learning. Yeah, too bad you didn't have more time to teach him. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what was the trouble in camp last night? No trouble. I got another piece of the map, and I eliminated one of them. Now, all we have to do is eliminate the others. That may not be necessary. What'd you find out about that telegram Lane sent? That's what I want to tell you about. It was to his home office, asking them to send a couple of men to meet him here in Remargo. Did he say any particular place? Something about the livery stable. They're due in early this afternoon. All right. Get a hold of Pete and Hank. Ride out to meet him. I don't have to tell you what kind of a reception to give him. We'll give him the key to the city. That's right. I'll meet you and the boys here later. And Paiute, don't forget to notch your gun for Sam. You in trouble, mister? No, but you are. about them. I got to talk to you private. What is it? It's about Rocky. He ain't a detective like I told you. He's a marshal. A marshal? Yeah, but he don't want you to tell the other two. You see, he's trying to find out who murdered your father, just like you are. Why didn't he tell me? Well, he thought he could work better undercover. I've got to talk fast before the others get here. You know, Rocky figures it was either Paul or Stanley. Paul? It couldn't be. I figured the same about Stanley, but Rocky's got a plan. Now, when the others get here, you just follow my lead. What do I do? Don't worry about anything. I'll give you all the signals. Rocky says just as soon as... Shall I tell them to come in? Yeah, go ahead. Come in. Well, looks like we're ready for our next move. Yep. We'll put our four piece together and see if we can figure out where we go from here. What about Brown's part of the map? Won't make any sense without his. That's right. But it's the only thing we can do. Might as well try and see if it'll make any sense. I don't know. Nothing personal, but I'd feel a lot better if that detective was here when we did it. I think he'd agree that that's the only thing to do. If you think so. Well, I'm for it. What else can we do? Well, uh, I guess I'm outvoted. boy, Paul. We can lay the pieces right out of here on the bed.
Here's mine. See what it looks like. Don't bother. I'll take care of that. Throw your guns under the bed. What's this all about? Yeah, I thought you was working for me. Looks like he's working for himself. That's right. Those four faces won't do you no good. Without the fifth, you won't get a dime of that money. Yes, I know. Whoever's got that fifth piece won't get a dime either, unless he does business with me. Wait a minute. I used to be pretty good at picking lumps back in my old carnival days. You know, I think I'm going to I tried to delay them as long as I could. Where are they now? Looking for you. That's fine. When the time comes, I'll let the right one find me. Uh, but what if he's not alone? Don't worry. A couple of men from my office are coming in. They ought to be here pretty soon. I'm going to meet them. What do you want me to do? Hang on to these just in case. And keep your eyes open. Let me know if you see them making any move. I sure will, Rocky. Get that job done? Sure. I got news for I you. I got news for you. It's Rocky Lane, who claims to be a detective, nothing but a crook. He's got the map now, and we got to do business with him. You mean you gave him your piece of the map? He had a gun on us. Oh, fine. Too bad he ain't a crook. It'd be easier that way. What are you talking about? Lane's a law man. How do you know? Those two guys we picked up are deputy marshals, not detectives. One of them had Lane's telegram in his pocket. Then Lane won't be leaving town. He'll be sticking around to find out who murdered Brown. That's what I figure. What'd you do with the two deputies? You don't need to worry about them. We took all their identification off of them, tied them up. Did you get their badges? Sure. Right here. All right. Now, you two guys are deputies. Lane's expecting you at the livery stable. Get down there, get that map, and take care of them. Right. <laughs> Remember what you're going to say. Get him inside so we won't have any interference. Maybe that's him now. You Rocky Lane? Yeah. You're the two men you sent for. You're new, aren't you? That's right. We're from Deming. Your office sent word for us to meet you here. Deming, eh? Yeah, let's go inside where we can talk private life. <laughs> Crook and he ain't got the map. What are you talking about? Look, I've got it. I'll take those. So you're the one that killed McCurry. That's right, and the same thing will happen to you if you get in my way. Why, you ducky, no good. Rocky! Rocky! It's standing more after her. He's got the piece of metal.
How much all that money come to, Rocky? We haven't finished counting it yet. There's quite a lot. It'll sure be a surprise to the people it belongs to. Well, if they can't find them, I sure could use it. Now don't forget, you got a share of that reward money. Yeah, hey, that's right. Maybe I could buy me a carnival. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness the greatest attraction of the past century. Step right up, folks. It costs you but a dime, the tenth part of a dollar. Get away from me, boys. You bother me. I want you to I'd see I'd like the... to listen to the rest of your spiel, Skeeter, but I got to get rolling. If I ever get around this way again, I'll drop in on you. Thanks, Rocky. Thanks a lot, Rocky. So long. Good luck to you. So long, Lane. Good luck, son.